Kristen and I are leaving our place in Prague. We're headed to Munich. Um, I want to show you, we got candy from the candy store and we got this tiny little tennis ball candy. Kristen got a bunch of other candies. Um, but we got this for Maggie to remind us of her and I'm going to try it right now. It tastes like a lemon and it's gum. I know. Okay, I'm in the train station right now. Kristen and I are waiting here. We got here with time to spare. Um, and as we walk in, everyone's crowded around a bunch of screens to go to see what the problem is, and a bunch of trains are delayed, including ours by 25 minutes. So we had a 10 minute layover in Munich. We've already missed our layover and we haven't even left yet. Um, and now as we've been sitting here, it gets progressively and progressively later. So now we're delayed by 55 minutes. Um, hopefully we get to Munich at a reasonable time. Check-in starts at 3. We're set to get there at like 6 now. Hopefully we're there at a decently reasonable time. But the moral of the story is that we always have issues getting into Germany and Germany hates us. So Kirsten's saving our seats right now. I'm in the train station wandering around trying to find food. Our train is now delayed 80 minutes. Um, so we're set to leave just after noon. I'm trying to find good spots to eat because um, we're very hungry and we should have been on our train like an hour and a half ago. at this random stop we had no most of the conversation on the train was happening in Czech obviously um, and we only speak English <laughs> so we didn't really know what was happening there's announcements coming on and then all of a sudden everyone got off we thought they were all getting off at this stop but then a woman sitting across from us starts talking to us in Czech she didn't speak English either and we were just kind of like what is going on so then someone else that did speak English was like you have to get off and there's another train coming so we, we all got off, Chris and I weren't ready, so we like grabbed our laptops and stuff, we got out, grabbed our bags, and we got off the train and we're sitting here, we're trying to pack everything away. The ticket agent and the nice lady who came up to us originally and another girl are like talking a little ways away from us, and they were figuring out how to communicate with us because the girl sitting next to us was like, these people don't speak Czech, they only speak English, and neither of them spoke English. So eventually this girl that spoke both came and she was kind of translating for us and basically saying that another train's gonna come in 30 minutes, and pick us up, take us to, we'll pick us, pick all of us up and take us to Chad. And then in Chad we could get wherever we went, wherever we were going. But that meant that now we're going to miss the second train leaving from Chad to Munich that we were hoping to catch because of the original delay back in Prague. Um, the next one's going to come at like 4.30 instead of 3.30 and it has two stops instead of one. One before Nuremberg and one in Nuremberg. And today's just a whole big mess, but it wasn't our fault this time. <laughs> Do you have anything to add, um, just like last time we went to Germany. Terrible. <laughs> We're already not in a good mood about going to some McDonald's and now we're walking back in the rain. Um, everything's been going suspiciously smoothly. Okay, it is very rainy in Munich today. So we just got our breakfast in our hotel. We woke up early to go to it and it's a raining, so we don't know what we're gonna do, but we want to figure out what Hauptbahnhof means because all of the train stations in Germany go into Hauptbahnhof. So I'm gonna search up what it means and I will report back. It means central station. We also started playing our game of where does their garbage go in Amsterdam and we never finished it. So I'm gonna put this clip into all of the different videos that we haven't figured out where their garbage goes. So first is Munich. We're gonna figure out where Munich's garbage goes. Hello everyone. We are in Naples right now and I'm realizing that we dropped the ball a little bit on the where does the garbage go game. So 
I have all the answers you're looking for right here and I'm going to share them with you now. So beginning with Amsterdam. Amsterdam's garbage goes to modern incinerators which generate power or heat water and that is used by local households and businesses. Then moving on to Germany, which is Berlin and Munich, it also goes to modern waste to energy plants that turn it into green energy and clean heat. Very exciting. And then Prague's just goes to collection sites, which are landfills, so nothing very exciting there. We will try to do a better job at keeping up with the where does the garbage go game, but I can't make any promises. Hopefully this update was good enough. <laughs> Okay, it's raining, so Kristen and I put our cute little rain jacket. Can I come show them your rain jacket? Kristen has his little rain jacket on too. And he also planned a fun route for us to see Munich. We only have one day today, and then we're off to Innsbruck tomorrow in Austria. So we're chilling, we're gonna go, and I will take you along with us. Probably not a lot of narration today. This building is the Azam Kirchen or the Azam Church. It was built in 1733 and is considered one of the most important buildings of the Southern German Late Baroque architecture period. And this is the new town hall. So it hosts the city council, the offices of the mayor, and a small portion of administration. The municipality left the old town hall in 1847 and moved into this new building. And where that beautiful clock tower is, is Old Town Hall. This right here is Hofbrauhaus. House. Kristen and I loved it. We especially loved the one liter beers and hearing about how my Uncle Jim brought my mom there when she was 15. What do you have to say about it, Kristen? It was wonderful. I really liked the full one liter beer that's bigger than Hannah's head. On the street corner, I just got Donaire's first lunch. I hate vlogging. All right, so this is gonna be very quick because Kristen and I are checking out of our hotel in Munich. We're headed off to Innsbruck in Austria today. We're only in Munich for one day, but it really changed our opinion of Germany. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick little look of the room. This is the bed. That is the bathroom area. That's a closet. We're gonna head out now because we have to check out in four minutes.